Okay, so now that we have our settings set up, we did some test fires. If you look up here, right, all these little guys. I'll move the, the drag chain out of your way. Okay, so I did some test fires. Now I'm going to do my actual image here. Okay, so now I wanted to get it very square. Okay, I'm going to reload an image. It could be any image now, now that I have the settings correct. And let's go placebo with David Bowie. I'm going to go back to line to line. So I'm using the cedar again because I just love the way it turns out. So line to line, tracing here, right? Go back and forth. Uh, 10 lines per millimeter, that's right. Uh, contrast looks fine over here. I know you can't see the full image because of the, the camera, but trust me. <laughs> okay, hit next. Oh, actually before I do that, I wanna check my white clip, make sure it skips the right parts. Yeah, white clip is good. Okay. So again, I have my brightness at 105, my contrast at 115 for this laser and this wood. I'm going to hit next. And we had this one at 3200 coming out real nice and crisp. And I'm going to pull out a measuring device. This whole piece of wood is 210 millimeters. And before I hit the top of the engravings here, it is 130 millimeters. Okay, so I gotta make sure it's shorter than that, smaller than that. So if I type in, you know, let's go 180. So I believe that's shorter, right? Yeah, one, 130, 140 tall. So at 114, that's perfect, okay. So what I'm going to try to do is hit the corner of my piece of wood, okay? I want to run right along the corner, and then I'm going to move in from there, okay? So I'm going to hit Create. I'm going to bring the camera out just a little bit here. Okay, it's a little bit bigger of an image, so it takes longer to create a preview. But I'm going to set my zero here and run a perimeter. So I actually want that laser to run right along the edge of this wood. That's like perfect right there. So left side's good. Hit this again. Oh, it needs to come up just a little bit more. Okay, try that again. That's pretty good. That's right. So that's the bottom and left that it's running like almost perfectly along. Okay. Now again, this is 210 millimeters wide. And this is 180 millimeters. So that means there's going to be 15 or 15 millimeter margins on each side. So I'm going to bring this down to five. So I'll move it five, 10, 15. So now it's 15 millimeters in on that side. And see, I had 140 up and down. This is 114. So what is that? That's 26. So I'm just going to bring it up 10 instead of 13 millimeters up. So set zero. Now I'm going to run a perimeter. That should look pretty centered here. I know it's square because the perimeter ran like almost perfectly square to it. But yeah, those margins look great. Okay. So I figured out my settings from the last video. Connected to my machine with a different video. <laughs> Created these buttons. That's another video here. So now I'm ready for my final uh, engraving. Now I'm ready to do what I've always wanted to do here. Okay. So here I go. I'm going to hit play. There it goes, doing its thing. It's going to take about an hour. I'm not going to let this run for an hour. I think that's ridiculous. 
But what I will do is I'll come back in an hour and I'll take a video. I'll talk about how it turned out and what I could have done differently. I'm going to check the margins, see if all the margins came out correctly. And yeah, so I guess this is the second to last video in the tutorial series. Thanks for watching.